my name is Sonika Ung. I'm from Loma Linda University, and my study looked at the influence of culture and diet self-efficacy on diet adherence among type 2 diabetics in Chile. Um, a few things that I wanted to point out to you that are really important in understanding this study. So type 2 diabetes is a global epidemic that's been increasing worldwide, particularly among underrepresented populations. Um, this study looked at a sample of Mapuches, which is the largest Native American population in Chile, and mainstream Chileans. Um, type 2 diabetes has been increasing among both of these groups, and this study was hopefully going to clarify some of the reasons why diet adherence was um, a problem for these groups. So in order to examine this question, I framed my research within Betancourt's integrative model for culture, psychological factors, and health behavior. There's a lot of information here. This model can be used to look at both the role or the perspective of um, health professionals and also the perspective of patients. This study looked at the perspective of patients and one thing that I wanted to look at specifically was the role of culture and whether it could be indirect through a psychological variable or direct on health behavior, in this case diet adherence. So specifically what my hypothesis was, was that um, cultural beliefs about susceptibility to social pressure, uh, particularly uh, feeling unable to refuse food that was offered to you as a sign of affection, um, would um, directly and or indirectly through diet self-efficacy influence prescribed diet adherence. So specifically, cultural beliefs about susceptibility to social pressure would be negatively associated with diet self-efficacy, which would in turn be positively associated with diet adherence. Um, in order to test this, I use structural equation modeling using EQS 6.1 um, constructed by Bentler. And what I did was I ran a test of invariance. So what this basically is, is it's a structural equation model that tests two groups. My two groups were Mapuches and mainstream Chileans. Um, Mapuches are indicated on the top of the arrows here, and mainstream Chileans are indicated on the bottom of these arrows here. Um, first and foremost, both of these models achieved good to excellent fit. What that means is that the structure of relations that I hypothesized fit the data well. And um, what I would like to point out here is that those who felt more susceptible to social pressure when food was offered to them as a sign of affection had lower feelings of capability or self-efficacy as proposed by Bandura. And um, also the relationship between feelings of capability for diet adherence and prescribed diet adherence um, was high. So that supports you know, the girth of research by Bandura in terms of feeling capable was related to adherence. But what this really sort of reflected, at least for mainstream Chileans, was that there was a significant indirect effect of culture on prescribed diet adherence. And that's really interesting because that's not something that's examined a lot, the role of culture and how that could influence how capable you feel when you're in an environment where you feel pressured to eat food. The reason why that's particularly important is because our cultural variable was developed from the bottom up, which means researchers actually went out into the field and examined what beliefs popped up for them and what was salient for them. So we made no assumptions about what those cultural beliefs could be. Um, and when taking that cultural variable from such a specific context, we found that um, that really gave a much fuller picture of how diet adherence works. So um, one of the things that um, me and the co-authors thought might be driving the power in this cultural variable is sort of the larger perspective of collectivism and field dependence. So really um, looking at how in field dependence, that means you know being more dependent on the social situation around you to make decisions or collectivistic, valuing the group over yourself. And um, what that really does would make social pressure much more important for this particular group, which is not something that is considered in a lot of research, that specific cultural variable in the larger context of culture, which is really what we wanted to sort of point out in terms of how that could really shift interventions to look not only at how capable you feel, which did function similarly for growth groups, 
but how susceptible you felt to social pressure. So um, thank you so much for your time, and that's all I have for today.